Okay, now we'll talk about the quantum hypothesis. And this is one of the main ideas developed by Max Planck at the beginning of the 1900s. Uh, Planck said that energy comes in little bundles, which he called quanta. Now the word quanta is plural. The singular would be quantum. So one quantum or many quanta. And that's where we get the word quantum mechanics. And a quanta is a little tiny bundle of energy. And it's the smallest possible bundle of energy. You can't have a, an amount of energy smaller than one quanta. Just like you can't have an amount of charge smaller than one electron. This is the smallest possible increment of energy. And here's an analogy. Imagine you have a staircase. and you're standing on the staircase. So there's different steps you could stand on. You could stand here, or you could stand on a different step. And you can think about your potential energy. Remember when we studied gravitational potential energy, we talked about the potential energy being related to the distance that you are above the ground. Well, you can be at different heights above the ground, so you could have different amounts of energy. You could be at this height, or at this height, or at this height. But you can't stand in between the steps. There's only certain places that you can stand. So only certain energy levels are possible. And in a similar way, electrons around an atom exist at different energy levels. Now to illustrate this, we often draw a picture something like this. We draw the nucleus of an atom just a bunch of little particles in the nucleus. And then we draw these circles around it. And the circles represent different energy levels. Now again, the electrons don't really exist in these spaces that are shaped like spheres. They inhabit regions called orbitals. And the orbitals may be spherical or they may have other shapes. Like sometimes orbitals are shaped kind of like this or they have more complicated shapes, but they're mathematical constructions and they tell us where an electron is likely to be. They're regions of prob probability. And also the electrons don't orbit around the nucleus in circles like this, like planets orbiting around the sun. They jump around seemingly at random and we can never say exactly where they are. We can only say where they're likely to be or where they probably are. And that's what these orbitals are. The orbitals are regions of, of probability where the electrons are likely to be found. But the electrons can have different amounts of energy. And we, and we often visualize that by drawing circles around the nucleus like this, like you see in this picture. And this just gives us a mental picture that's convenient. It helps us think about the energy of the electrons. And higher circles here represent more energy, and the lower circles down there closer to the center represent less energy. Now, according to the quantum hypothesis, electrons can exist at one energy level or another, but not at any energy levels in between. So the energy is quantized. It only comes in certain discrete amounts. You can have one quantum of energy, but not a partial quantum. So there's the smallest possible size to a packet of energy. That's one quantum. And that's what's represented by these energy levels. An electron could be sitting here at this energy level, or it could be sitting here at the next highest energy level, but it never sits anywhere in between. And in fact, when it moves from one energy level to another, it just goes and moves to the next one. It doesn't go up to the next energy level. It doesn't exist at any of these intermediate states in between. It just ceases to exist at one energy level and suddenly starts to exist at another energy level. And that little jump is sometimes called a quantum jump or a quantum leap. It just moves from one energy level to another without any intermediate stages in between. So that would be like you moving on the staircase. You can only sit on or stand on one step or another step. But when you move between one step and another, you don't actually move from one to another. You just go and you stop existing at one and start existing at another. There's really this jump in between.